So today's topic is antibody testing and application of conditional probability. So let's set this up with the basic applications and then we'll get into the math. And I think you'll see something pretty interesting when we get to the end of this. So let's first talk about a screening test. Let's call this just test. But this is an antibody test. So what we wanna do in an antibody test is we want to test for the presence of antibodies to a certain infectious agent. So what we have to do with the test is we have to test the test. Now, what does it mean to test the test? Well, we have to test the accuracy of the test. But what does it mean to test the accuracy of the test? Well, we have to give cases and put cases into the test. Now, what is a case? A case is somebody who had the infection. All right, so we take a certain number of cases. Now, let's just say hypothetically to make the math really easy, let's say we take 100 cases. We might not have 100 cases, but let's just say we have 100 cases, just to make it easy. We give 100 cases the test. Now, a certain number will test positive, and a certain number of these will test negative. Now, if there was a perfect test, <laughs> all 100 would test positive. But in the real world, that doesn't always happen. In fact, it probably is the exception rather than the rule that all 100 cases will test positive. So let's just say hypothetically, to make the math easy, let's say 90 cases test positive and the 10 remaining cases test negative. This could happen. I'm making the math as easy as possible. So in medical science, we have a term called sensitivity. So sensitivity is the probability, the conditional probability, that you will get a positive test result given that the actual person taking the test is a case. In other words, given that they have actually had the infection. So, so this, is, this is an important idea that takes college statistics and puts it right into the real world, which is sort of beautiful, right? This is the actual college level definition of what sensitivity is. It's the conditional probability that you'll get a positive test result for somebody that is known to actually be a case. And that's what we do when we have a nice new test that's on the market, let's say for some kind of, I don't know, hypothetically uh, respiratory infection, maybe. And we have a nice brand new test. Well, we'll give 100 cases the test and we'll count up how many positives we get and how many negatives we get. So what a statistician would do is a statistician would say the sensitivity estimate, statistician might put a little hat over this, right? And say the sensitivity estimate would be 90% because it's coming from these data over here. Now, not everybody will put the hat over the sensitivity. Um, they might just say the sensitivity of the test is 90%, but, 
but anybody knows that we don't know the true sensitivity of the test. We, we test the test with cases and we get the sensitivity. Okay. So then here's a question for everybody listening to this, which may only be two people. <laughs> but if you're listening to this, let's say a politician says, well, the test is 90% accurate. Does that mean they're talking about the sensitivity? Well, the answer to that is maybe. Because see, here's something else we do. We take the same test And now, now making the math as easy as possible, let's say we take 100 controls and we give 100 controls the test. Now, I defined what a case was. Think for a moment, what do you think a control would be in this context? Pause the video for a second. Welcome back. Okay, so a control would be someone that never had the infection. Right, that's what a control would be. Someone who never had the infection. I should put the arrow here, right? Never had the infection. Now, you would hope that if a subject was given a test that never had the infection, you would hope that the test would give these subjects mostly negative results, right? So we would count up the number of positives just like we did before, and we would count up the number of negatives just like we did before. And to make the math as easy as possible, let's say, 85 of the controls tested negative and 15 of the controls tested positive out of a total of 100, just to make the math as easy as possible. So it turns out that we have another measure of accuracy of the test called the specificity. Now, the specificity is a conditional probability. Can you figure out, maybe pause the video, can you figure out what do you think the formulation of the specificity of the test would be if it had a similar idea to sensitivity? Pause the video, I think. Welcome back. Okay, so I'll tell you. The specificity is the probability of having a negative test result given that the person is actually a control. In other words, if somebody never had the infection, what's the probability that the test result will actually be negative? And so statisticians would probably want you to put a little hat above this if you're using actual data. And in this case, in this hypothetical example, since 85 out of 100 did test negative, this would be 85%. So when, when we speak about the accuracy of a test, <clears throat> if we are being honest, now I know that's a big if because, you know, but if we're being honest about the accuracy of a test, it is not one measure. Is this test 90% accurate or is it 85% accurate? Well, which one is it? Do you take the larger number because it looks better? Do you take the smaller number if you're in a competing company? Do you average out the two? The answer is neither one of those is really accurate. If you really wanna tell the true story about a screening test for a disease or for an infectious agent, for antibodies, if you really want to be truthful, the accuracy of a test has two values. There's the sensitivity and the specificity. 
and we have to test the test with cases and controls to estimate these two very important conditional probabilities. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how to interpret a positive test result or a negative test result that you or a patient gets using Bayes' theorem.